all right guys so this lecture this short clip is about how to sort a list of numbers so let's look at what the problem is so the problem is how to sort a list of numbers and this is called an array so precisely the problem is how to sort an array for simplicity we are just taking numbers but the uh, once we design the algorithm that same algorithm would basically apply for any data type whether it's an array character array, array of characters whether it's an array of float or even an array of strings so the inputs and outputs should be very much clear the input is what uh, it's uh, what uh, it's um, what you see on the screen which is any random sequence of numbers they are in, not in any order neither descending nor ascending they are just in uh, random numbers the, uh, but the output should be very clear the output should be in ascending order which is also called increasing order so this is the output so the output should be a sorted array of n elements so input is precisely uh, in words, if we write, if we need to explain the input in words, we should we should write the input is unsorted array of size n, and the output is sorted array of size n. Or in this example, n is eight. So this is the problem: eight elements, indexes. The yellow numbers are the indexes of this uh, array. So this this is a size n problem. So the smallest sub problem that we can think of. Uh, uh, should be to sort two numbers so in order to solve a problem of sorting n numbers we should be able to first solve the smallest sub problem and the smallest sub problem is sorting two numbers so let's say the first two numbers so by sorting two numbers we mean that in this the current order is 163 instead it should be 63 and 100 so that's uh, how we should uh, we should start. So we should start to design an algorithm by solving this smallest sub problem that is by solving the problem of sorting two numbers. So the first number is 100 which uh, which is at index 0 and the second number is 63 which is at index 1. So if the first number is greater than the second number then they need to entertain to change the places in other words we need to swap so this is the this is the simple code uh, for this smaller sub problem that if the first number which is arr0 if that's greater than say the second number which is arr1 then we need to swap arr0 and arr1 so this is the code which is written this red box the code inside the red box is the solution for this problem of sorting two numbers so once we've designed this, we simply now need to repeat this step. We need to repeat this comparison step. So we had n numbers. Let's start. Let's just repeat this n times. So we'll just add a for loop on top, this blue box. And the loop will run eight times. But if you note, if you do a dry run after this making this change, you'll figure out that when i is 7 the last time, the last time this loop executes the value of i is 7 so there's a, this if statement would be if arr 7 is greater than arr 8 arr 7 is fine but we don't have an arr 8 so this would be a problem so in this case is array out of bounds problem so what we need to do is since we are comparing two numbers so we need to change this condition and this and we should execute this loop one time less so we have to make this i less than seven so this is the fix that we have to do all right so let's try run this code on this above array and let's see how the array will look like so uh, at this point you should pause the video uh, you should pause this video don't do not continue this video and just pause this video and do a dry run and dry run this code and just uh, see what happens after executing this code this blue box so just pause this video and then once you are done with this 
after the, once you're done drying dry running it uh, just check just see what the array looks like now after uh, executing this blue box in other words this this whole code so all right okay so hopefully you have uh, done the dry run and uh, just look at the array is the array sorted in increasing order no it's not all right so if uh, the array is not sorted in increasing order as you may see but the next question is so did we just write this code is this just a waste of time or is there any progress that you can see do you see any progress uh, done with your array just pause and think for 10 seconds and then you you should play the so pause again and then play after 10 seconds just see what progress is done all right so you might have guessed that uh, the number 100 which was the largest number this largest number is now in its desired position if you recall the uh, the output array which we discussed earlier in this output array the number 100 should be in the last position because it's the largest so that progress is is done so a slight progress is done this is not like that uh, we haven't made any progress the progress we've made is that the largest number is uh, uh, has has come to its desired position so some progress has been done so by executing this blue blue box once we have placed the and like uh, we have uh, found out that the number 100 the largest number is is placed at the last position let's run this blue code again let's run this blue code blue box code this code which is in front of you let's run this again and let's do a dry run again and again just pause the video and uh, now let's see that uh, what the array looks like so pause the video and then after the dry run play the video all right so after doing a dry run again uh, your array should look like something like this all right so now we have run the code uh, this blue box two times so what is the, what is the progress now yes the progress is that the second largest number which is 99 that is also in its required position which is it is the now the second last number now you might have guessed what we are actually trying to do what this blue code is doing is every time we execute the blue code one number comes to its own position so this is the magic which is happening so how many times we need to repeat this blue code the the blue box code so that all the numbers are placed in their required positions so let me recall if we executed this blue box once on the original array one number which was the largest number came to its own required position that is 100 became uh, 100 came to its uh, correct position which was the last position when we executed it twice so 100 and also 99 which was the second largest that came to its original position its desired position so if we repeat this for n number of times then hopefully all the numbers would come in their required positions so that's what we want to do so we need to repeat this blue code eight times so that all the eight numbers they are placed in their respective positions so this is so this yellow blocks means that we need to repeat the block blue code blue box eight times and hopefully the whole array will, will become sorted so pretty much simple we started with the smallest sub problem and we design, designed this algorithm ourselves and this algorithm is known as bubble sort this yellow yellow box code 
and the name the reason it's called bubble sort is that the large numbers if you note the larger numbers are bubbling towards the right side of the array so that's it from uh, my side regarding bubble sort do read the book regarding bubble sort the code is given and read the explanation till then take care goodbye and best of luck for the exam